good morning, Psych 2231 students, or afternoon, or 3 a.m. for you night owls. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a bar chart for a different format. So up until now, we've been using bar charts to look at frequencies of how many people picked a certain option. Say, how many people picked chocolate as their favorite ice cream versus vanilla or strawberry or chunky monkey. Don't worry, that's just a Ben and Jerry's flavor. But today what we're going to look at is how to use bar charts when we want to look at group differences on an outcome. So let's say we had a nominal variable where we had categories as our independent variable and we wanted to look at whether there were differences in those two samples or those two groups on an outcome or a dependent variable that is continuous. In that case, we can use bar charts to not just look at counts, but to compare an outcome statistic across the two groups. In a second, I'm going to start looking up because my statistics screen is up here, even though for you guys it shows them on the same plane. So my eyes are not rolling in the back of my head. All right, in SPSS, what we would do is go to graphs and legacy dialogues and bar chart. We're going to stick with a simple bar chart, nothing too complicated yet, and click define so we can tell it which variables that we want to put in that bar chart. Now, I have already started to set up what we're going to do, where I've put the outcome temperature in as the dependent variable and the independent variable sex or gender as our category axis. So I'm interested in seeing if males or females like to keep their houses at different temperatures. We're also going to have it use other statistic like the mean, right? When I put this in, initially it, SPSS wants to just look at the number of cases. That's what we do for frequencies. I'm telling it I would like to know the mean of um, each of these groups on temperature. If you look at change statistic, there's lots of things you could compare between these two groups. Mean is what we'd be using for independent samples t-test next week. So when you start out, these variables again are going to be over here in the list and you have to tell it I want temperature to be my outcome and I want sex or gender to be my category axis. So this is your x axis and then um, it will show the temperatures up the side and the y axis. Make sure you put in a nice descriptive title so a reader can tell what you're looking at and click continue. And when you run that in SPSS, you will get something that looks like this. Right? At first it puts it in the same color, but now on the x-axis you have males and females as the grouping variable, that's nominal, and your temperature over here on your y-axis, it's continuous and happens to be a interval variable because Fahrenheit doesn't have an absolute. So we've got a nominal variable here, an interval variable here, and we get the um, comparison between the groups. Doesn't look that big of a difference, right? If we were going to put this into a manuscript, we'd want to add some extra color, right? Or differences between like a light and a dark thing if we're putting a black and white so that we can see those differences a little more clearly. In this case, it's a lack of differences. The um, temperature that males and females prefer to keep their houses at is pretty much equal, right? Now, if you were going to report this in APA format, and I'm asking you in your portfolio to practice bringing this over to put it in a manuscript, then um, you can copy and paste the diagram. Right? You can also build bar charts like this in Excel or in Microsoft Word. There are um, some neat ways to do that in the document itself. But if you copy it over, um, you'd want to make sure you have all those things labeled and you also put a list, figure one, and a one or two sentence description of what it's showing. So don't just say, we looked at gender and temperature, tell us there does not appear to be a difference. Both groups had averages near 70 degrees. Now, if we wanted to build um, this chart in Microsoft Word, we could do that too. And my help thing isn't working. So apparently I can do that in another section where I will show you how to build an SPSS once I figure out why Microsoft Word doesn't want to wake up for me today. Thanks, guys.